So after uh, about three weeks work, um, the camper van conversion is now finished and uh, I'd like to give you a guided tour. Okay, so here we go. Um, give you a quick guided tour. So here we have a small table that pulls out. It's just an extra coffee table type thing. And there's the leg storage for the main dining table which goes in there. And here we have uh, drawers on custards for uh, clothing and custom made uh, double bench seat. Opening window with uh, blackout blinds. And above here we have more storage and the audio system. And the audio system plays films and music throughout the whole van. Just down here we have a very small wine rack and a cupboard underneath. And then here is the control unit for the Malaga water heater, which is gas and 240 volts. And there we have the most important thing, there's a carbon monoxide alarm. And the layout of this van is different to the first one I built. Um, the first one had bench seating at the back that made into a, a bed with the uh, dining table. This time I've done a fixed bed. Um, probably laziness but mainly because we've got storage underneath so um, we've got a really good sized double bed with a, a proper mattress little window there and underneath we've got storage inside it's just a small cupboard for the cleaning stuff and then we'll have a look out the back and I'll show you the back cupboards and uh, kitchen area we have the uh, sink and double gas hob Cupboards underneath and a three way fridge and cutlery storage. <coughs> Quite well organised inside the cupboards. So, uh, yeah, everything's uh, rattle free. And on this side, basically, fire blanket and food storage cupboard. A little bit more storage. And here is the uh, electrical control unit for the van. And I've used the Sargent EC160 again, same as the, uh, the last van. Um, I find this is the, one of the best ones you can get. Um, it's got the uh, battery charger there, so it's split charge relay when you're driving, but also when you're plugged in the mains, it's also charging the leisure battery. Um, there's the circuit breakers for mains and 12 volt. This is the switch for the lights, which are LED in the ceiling and on the top there we've got power for the TV, cooking lights just above the cooker, floor lights there which is basically uh, coloured night lights and they're quite nice at night we leave them on all night, audio system and a light for the toilet unit and various 12 volt outlets, um, USB that kind of thing. Here is the water tank level meter so we've got 70 litres of fresh water on board and cupboards over here and they've all got little lights in so thanks to the pressure switch there look when you open the cupboard doors the lights come on so we're not short of storage uh, some reading lamps a bit more storage there but yeah very very comfortable bed really happy with it this time and if you just turn around here we have the toilet unit so large door and let's put a light on so toilet light there we are so lights hidden in the ceiling and there we have the toilet, and underneath that is the water heater. So all the, all the cupboard doors um, were made by myself, all from scratch. And basically using the 15mm, uh, the, 15 mil, um, uh, the board, it's laminated both sides. And then you uh, cut a 2mm groove in the edge, and you have this uh, plastic knock-in edging which finishes it off nicely. So yeah, it's the advantage in doing it this way is that you can build it exactly how you want it and you're not restricted to sizes or anything like that. Um, with the doors, just made up a, a template out of MDF and then cut them with a router. So uh, you get a nice, nice clean finish. Okay, blackout curtains leading to the cab and you'll see we've taken out the double seat and put uh, a single passenger seat in and they're on swivels, which is nice. And the cab's pretty much original, haven't done a great deal, other than a bit of carpet. And I've put a couple of extra USB sockets in, you'll see like up there. One annoying thing about most vehicles, they never have USB sockets up uh, the top where you put your dash cam and things like that. So I hate to see cables draped everywhere. 
so that was a good thing that uh, I put in a uh, new audio system and a few more uh, USB sockets just down there so what we'll do is we'll uh, go and have a look at the uh, back of the van what I did with the van this time is I put a ladder on the back um, basically on the roof I, um, I've got a landing pad because we do a lot of drone holidays, drone weekends and that I put a landing and take off on the roof so we're not short of somewhere to take off so there we go, so both doors uh, fully insulated and lined and in the back here we've got storage that's under the bed so it's uh, got a light inside there so let's have a look in this one got leisure battery and 70 litre water tank and the water system with the pump and in the middle that's the generator so wherever we go we've got mains voltage everywhere table storage and there is the gas bottle in a proper uh, heavy duty metal gas uh, cupboard and this side wastewater tank right at the back there and we've got barbecue in there and seating and on the top here we have a long slide out unit that has boxes with all the cables and tools and things in keeps everything well organized so yeah really really happy with the design of this um, it's about two weeks uh, three weeks work in total and the budget I set was about six thousand pounds and in the end it cost me about seven and a half thousand pounds and that's for the materials not including the labor um, but basically very very happy did it all myself didn't employ anybody apart from the gas engineer uh, just to do the final gas connection and the checking and then we had an electrical safety certificate issued so we know everything's 100% safe so yeah lots and lots of great weekends away